Tolan might be back, man. Hey, this is Rocky Mountain Cope. I'm here for another YouTube video. Again. Finally. I'm back. I promise, I am back. Alright, so, to start off, since I am back, just want to say this right here, I'm back in Colorado. I'm back all over the place. Uh, I'm back to school, college. Um, I went to college in uh, Michigan. Uh, I only took one math class. Didn't like it there. The weather sucked. I, w I was in Michigan for a little over a year, actually. But then I came back to Colorado. Um, yeah, so I'm back here. Got three classes. I got English, math, and business. That's only three-quarter time student, but hey, at least I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm in my garage in Colorado. This is my dad's Harley back here. We've been doing a lot of work on it. Um, well, my dad's been doing a lot of work on it. <laughs> I uh, I helped a little bit, but it's... Uh, the, the problem with it was there was a hairline fracture in the gear, third gear to be exact. Um... This resulted in it locking up in third gear as he was going down a mountain. Which wasn't good because he could have gone off, but he didn't. Um, also in my garage, I have my bicycles, my mountain bikes, like the mountain bike. Um, we got my 1986 Yamaha TY350 trials bike. It's a really fun sport. I like the sport of trials. It's, you know... It's also fun to dick around with up here in the mountains. Uh, it's basically you, you know, hop up rocks, you go through obstacles, you gotta balance, you can't put your foot on the ground. Like, that's the sport. You know, uh, it's, all, it's also fun if you've gotta go someplace to a friend's house and you feel like taking a big shortcut. Um, you could go a lot more places than an MX bike can. They're just, they're not geared for top speed. Mine's, mine's top speed's probably about 65 miles an hour, and that's pushing it maybe more like 50, 55. Um, but uh, it's a great bike, geared with torque, geared, it's, it'll turn you into a wheelie master all day. Uh, <laughs> just because it's so torquey. Um... The, also, I have a 1987 Fiero GT, Pontiac. Um, it's been sitting here in the garage because the uh, transmission line on it is broke. It's an automatic transmission. It's got a little over 80,000 th miles. The car's in great shape. It's just dusty as hell. Um, back in Michigan, I had to leave my 1980 uh, Chevy K10, Chevy Cheyenne K10. Nice big old mud truck. Uh, sorry. Um, it, uh, it was a beast. It, hit, it was a uh, 350 small block engine, board stroked out to 383. It had an oversized cam. Uh, let's see what else? High compression heads, 383 stroker. You know, you got some high compression heads. Supposed to run premium, even though I could only afford unleaded. The thing got like three miles to the gallon. I'm serious. It was terrible. But now, back to the video. That's enough about me. Um, I'm going to chew Copenhagen today. Yeah, my favorite chew. I, I know I've probably done plenty of videos of me chewing Copenhagen, but I just got to do it. I'm back. This is video number 13. Lucky number 13. I'm back for good. Got my lucky green shirt on. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, got my Copenhagen, it was in my pocket. Um, gotta show you the can. This is something that's new, you know. Uh, I wanted to make a video about this. Uh, it's got, warning, smokeless tobacco is addictive. Well, no shit. Everything, everything with nicotine's addictive. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, then they got... This product can cause gum disease and tooth loss. Tooth, uh, tooth loss. Sorry. Um, yeah. What else is new? So, 
I mean, that was always on these cans, but figured I'd read it anyway. Uh, I don't spit, but I got some chocolate milk to drink. I love chocolate milk. Uh, the thing is, I was thinking about uh, doing a video either on the laptop, which I'm doing on right now, or my camera, but I like being able to see myself while I'm doing the video. It's just easier to make sure all the lighting's right, you know, make sure I'm showing the can right, make sure I'm in the picture right. Um, then I also got my phone. It uh, shoots... Uh, Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't even know. All right, it shoots 720p. Um, I got I got my numbers mixed up for a second there. Uh, I guess it happens. But uh, yeah. All right, let's take the dip. Go Benegan. I love this stuff. Oh, you gotta love the smell of that. What is it, like saddle leather and cardboard? But it's really good. My dip. Alright, uh, let's take another one. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I miss you, YouTube. I really do. I, I've been looking around at everybody's videos. Oh shit, I got a whole bunch of loose tobacco in my mouth. So I gotta take a swig of my chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, people who don't use spitters, uh, you know, it, it, it is easier to uh, ha drink something while you're chewing if you're not gonna spit. Uh, sorry, I'm just situating it. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been looking at people's videos. Uh, there's a lot of new people out there. They, they get great videos. Uh, I'm gonna have to do shout outs in the next video. Um, but my favorite dippers, uh, Cajun Tiger 616. He's always been my favorite. I'll always give him a shout out. I let him know that I'm actually going to be making this video. Um, also, there's uh, uh, Outlaw Dipper. He's my favorite, also. Him and Cajun Tiger are one and the same. They've been around forever. Uh, Outlaw's been around longer, I think. But, you know, they're still the same caliber. I've been around for a while. I think it's been three or four years now. I can't remember exactly. I think it was like 2008, so... Nine, three years, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be four soon. But the thing is, is I've been gone for a long time. I have twelve volumes, and then two bloopers. So I have about fourteen videos now. But this is volume uh, thirteen, which is my fifteenth video. If I am correct, I might be forgetting a video somewhere. But um. Yeah, Copenhagen's good with chocolate milk. That's my dip right there. Um, I don't know. Let's see what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, uh, aside from my truck that I left in Michigan, I do have a uh, 2003 Dodge Neon SXT. I I got it for the gas mileage. It's a great little car. Interior's great condition. Exterior's great condition. Problem is with those neons is the uh, the uh, control arm bushings and things like that, they go out on them. So I, I got all the uh, neoprene, or I think that's the name. Uh, uh, but they're just an upgraded part instead of the rubber bushings. I'm going to put those on my car right here in the garage. Got a lift. But, um, yeah, I actually drove that thing off, from, off the mountain twice. Dead Man's Corner. It was about 13 feet. <laughs> um, I didn't go all the way down in there. I, I stopped part way down. And then somebody was on my side of the road when I was going around a dirt corner. 
hit the brakes and I went off about eight feet or so. Again, I was on the, uh, I, I was still on the edge. The thing is, is like it is a slope, but it's a really steep slope on both of them. They were all dirt, luckily. Didn't hurt my car. Got a scratch from a thorn bush, but yep, uh, that's what I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's no big deal. I'm gonna fix those bushings. It wasn't the bushings were already bad before I went off. Uh, what's nice now, YouTube lets you do longer videos. Um, I'm at 10 minutes and 35 seconds right now. I guess you could do 15 minute videos, but I'm not going to bore you guys. I just want to say, I'm back. I'm going to start making videos. This Copenhagen's good. Um, I'll go inside and post this. Alright, see ya YouTube. Oh, please subscribe, please. I, I want to get people to subscribe, or subscribe. I'm stopping at 11 minutes. Keep dipping YouTube.